So to be honest, gearing something isn't something you see a lot of, mostly because gears are a nightmare. They're difficult to adapt, they're expensive to buy, they're impossible to make, but everything would benefit, whether you're driving a motor from a gears train, or if you want to do your generation where you're using wind turbine or water wheel, if you can put it through a gear train, you're going to get an improvement. Because how do you go about that? I mean, gear trains, aren't they really complicated things? And yes, they are, which is why they're so expensive. However, I had a bit of a brainwave. So this is what I've got to make some gears. It is a hand winch. Now, uh, it came with a handle on it, on, that fitted on there. Gave it a turn, it had a ratchet and pawl, and of course it worked as a winch. Now, we've got a small cog in there and a big cog, and of course, what we give up for speed, we gain in torque. So the quicker I turn this, this won't turn very quickly, it'll turn in relation to the gear ratio, but we'll also get torque out of it. So this is what I need in order to be able to make that little motor run that bike. So what I need to do, obviously, is attach the motor to this part here so that it can turn that cog, and then I need the output shaft to go from here. Now, this is just suspended on a bolt, so what I need to do is take the bolt out, extend that so that it becomes an output shaft, and arrange something here for the motor to go on. <laughs> Okay, so that bit was really easy. All I've done is made a couple here out of a long nut. That nut there, just drilled it and threaded it and put a couple of nuts in there. That makes my couple. Attached it to this motor. The motor's actually got a motor speed controller on it now. Kind of a cute little thing, actually. It goes um, stop, reverse, stop, forward. So we've got it in stop and there's a speed control with a potentiometer. Let's put it in reverse and give it a little bit on the potentiometer. And off we go. So it's a little noisy, but there is our gear. So there it is finished. I mean, it's really simple. All I've done is put a couple of bearings on there in bearing cups, bolted to the original bracket, replaced the bolt that was in the centre with a 12mm bit of bar, drilled through the centre of this and stuck a 4mm bolt in to act as a pin. So if I turn that motor on now... And you'll notice it's very much quieter. And that's really courtesy of the bearings. Now, I didn't replace these bearings. They're still the nylon bushings, but I could replace them if I want. And that is a really cheap gear set. Now, whenever I've looked at gear sets, they can be quite complicated, they can be quite expensive, but this is only £15. So £15 to get yourself a reasonable gear set, I think, is fantastic. Of course, I've got this set up as a drive, so I've got the motor going through the gear to drive something or other. But a DC motor is a generator in reverse. So equally with this gear set, we can turn this motor very much quicker for a lower speed out of here. So with generation, if you stick a water wheel on there, a, a wind turbine on there, or a set of pedals and human power on there, you're going to get that same advantage only in reverse. Anyway, I thought gears were a terrible thing to get hold of. I thought they were quite expensive. I thought this was a very cheap solution. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.